How's it going, YouTube? Juniper back in with another video, and today I want to talk about the state of the world right now, and I want to help calm your nerves a little bit. If you're on this channel, you know I'm a very spiritual dude. I'm a Pisces, Pisces sun, Pisces moon, so I'm guilty of, you know, having that spiritual aspect of my life be so important. And I love all people, whether you believe in God or not, whether you're religious, spiritual, or atheist. As long as you are a good person, I believe you can be a good person. And in fact, like, it seems like sometimes it's like it's... Uh, is the religious and the spiritual people that can often do a lot of bad things, you know? And it's like, so being religious, being spiritual doesn't stop you from being, doesn't stop you from being a bad person and not being religious doesn't stop you from being a good person, you know? So we, we all live in shades of gray, dog, but we're also, there's a rainbow. So we're talking about the LGBTQ right now. And um, it's crazy because they're trying to, conservatives, they're trying to make it so that um, being gay or being trans. Uh, right now, they're starting with trans people, and that's that's what that's the funny thing. They're starting with trans people, uh, demonizing them because right now, a lot of people still don't really know about trans and intersex people, so they don't really know. They don't have they don't have the time to know either. They're so caught up trying to make enough money to to provide for their family. So how can they take the time to really dive deep into the subject unless they're in, in the community themselves? You know, so, so they're demonizing gay people and. It's so crazy how minorities end up attacking other minorities. It's like once someone gets like a privilege, they want they really hold on to that privilege and they think that somebody else getting more privileges affects them. You know, somebody else getting access to more resources will affect them when, that, when that's not the case. The truth is if, if none of us, if all of us ain't free, none of us are free. So we have to free trans people, free intersex people, like from the slavery, from the from the hate you know because at this point they literally said out loud like they want these people to die they want people that don't believe in them to die and that's what the nazis were like that's what um that's why they destroyed a lot of like history when it that pertains to gay and transgender people especially transgender people because it's like oh you guys will never hear this is a whole new thing no it's not a new thing transgender people have been around all the, this whole time non-binary people have been around in many different cultures all around the world but they're trying to destroy that history just like how Ron DeSantis is using prigger you to indoctrinate children to believe that slavery was good for black people and it's crazy because jk rowling was also very transphobic had a had a race of elves in her book on her harry potter series that legit said this they said that we're happy being slaves because if it was not for our slave masters we would be lost does that sound familiar like i cannot make this shit up and all this information is out there right in front of our faces again they're no longer using um blow what's that word called uh, but they're saying the quiet part out loud they're not afraid to say that they hate trans people they're not afraid to say that they want trans people to be exterminated so that makes it a very scary place and you cannot do this without attacking everybody for instance my daughter uh, my daughter's hospital got bomb threats because they take care of trans children. You know, they take care of trans children. They don't do surgery on trans children, but that's what they were told by Libs of TikTok, a horrible, horrible woman. Um, but they were getting bomb threats and many, many other hospitals and people are getting bomb threats. There was a store owner in California just had a pride flag outside of her store. She was murdered because she had that pride flag. So even if you're, if, even if you're not LGBTQ, but you defend LGBTQ, you're defending humans. You get killed for that. So I'm saying, like, how is this protect protecting the children? Um, and then the gays against grooming. That's the thing. The minorities are attacking other minorities. So there are some gay people that think that trans people are making it harder for them to be accepted. So now they've gone against trans people and they're calling trans people groomers. And they're surprised by the fact that when they have a rally, an anti-transphobic rally, just like there's also the LGB without the T, bullcrap. So when they had a rally, an anti-trans rally, Nazis showed up. Nazis showed up and then they denounced the Nazis, but they've been quoted in saying that um, being queer is worse than being a Nazi. Like, they, that's what this group says. So you think that this is like a gay group? No, this is like a conservative. This is a Nazi fascism hidden behind gay people, you know? Like, they have Candace Owens doing, saying shit to harm the black population. Same thing here. So, but the thing is, uh, this is part one. I'll do a part two, okay? Um, so that way you don't get so scared and get caught up in this because we can change things because in, in life, the, in the spirit realm, things happen in the spirit realm before they happen here. So if we can cultivate that inner beauty within us and in, in our own spiritual world, we can actually connect with others and bring forth, um, the garden of Eden on earth. Like that's, that's my goal here on this YouTube is to bring forth the garden of Eden. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.